Dr. Rutherford Maximilian III has lost control of his nightmare chamber, and that is not good. <laughs> is the worst possible nightmare energy of all, which is that of nightmares of zombies. Robin Downward has once again dreamed up, I mean nightmared up, a scenario to turn the Randall Theater into a perfect Halloween haunt. It's just sort of jumped from, from where it was previously to a completely different scary, hysterical, maniacal level. Another new twist this year to help keep the line moving and to perhaps keep the zombies from getting indigestion and feeding on too many guests at once, a little special theater presentation. They're able to come into the theater, you know, sit down, watch some of the horror movie clips. We'll have our concession stand open, which will also be the, t the ticket booth. Then when they're ready to, uh, you know, be protected from the zombies, they can get in that line. Maybe we'll try and uh, save a few. I can't guarantee it, you know, there may be a few that'll be lost, but you know, there's always a few. It will be darker in the dream chamber this year, so he recommends a cell phone light to guide your way. But good luck avoiding those zombies. Uh, Mr. Shriek, who's our, who's our zombie lord, uh, is, always, is always lurking around. One thing we've added this year uh, are uh, a number of uh, what we call air cannons. So aside from having the zombies attacking you, you're being hit from all sides by air, these big loud booms, so you've got a lot of startle scares going on. So if all this sounds good to you, then the chamber is open, if you're brave enough to enter. In Medford, Joe Camerlingi, NBC5 News.